Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first Shipper TMS Express Tier webinar. I'm Jess Kowalski, and I'm the sales engineer here at Super Dispatch. Today, we have Brittany, our Director of Customer Success, and Asal, a Customer Success Manager, joining us as well. We are here to give you the tips and tricks on setting up your Shipper TMS Express account to make sure you hit the ground running and move cars fast. I've already introduced our team, so the rest of today's agenda is to walk you through the important setup of your Shipper TMS account. After that, we will go through creating an order in the Shipper TMS and send it to a test carrier account so you'll be able to see what that looks like. After that, we'll save time to answer any questions you might have. Let's jump right into it. Feel free to log into your own account and follow along if you'd like. We will also be sending out a recording of this webinar, so you'll be able to refer back to it later if you want to reference something we talk about today. Oops. The first step is to log into the platform. You can do this by clicking on the Shipper option from the Login tab of our homepage or by going to shipper.superdispatch.com. Here, you'll enter the credentials that your account executive emailed you upon the completing of the sign-in process. If you can't find them, you can reach out to our support team via the chat button on any of our web pages. That's down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Now that we're logged in, we'll see the main page for the Shipper TMS account, which is the All Orders tab. In the bottom left-hand corner, click on your username. This will bring up a menu and we will click on profile. This is the page you will want to fill out thoroughly as this is all the information about your company that a carrier will see when they're looking at your orders. We found that the more complete your profile is, the faster you'll be able to find carriers and build up your carrier network, especially if you're just starting out. Starting from the top, you can, you can upload a company logo so carriers can see a visual image of who they are working with. In the About Us box, I've entered information about our company, as well as a website, mailing address, and how long we've been in business. Next to that, I have a point of contact information. In this case, this is my info and how you can get in touch with me, my email and my direct line. Next, you'll want to add your payment information. This is not looking for account numbers or any sensitive information, but rather information about how you'll pay your carriers for transport. You can see that I've set my fields to check with a 10-day business term. You can also specify alternative payment methods such as check, direct deposit, UShip, Venmo, etc. Next, you'll want to specify your carrier requirements. This is the minimum requirements that carriers need to move loads for you. You can specify that you need to be listed as a certificate holder, a minimum amount of cargo insurance based on trailer capacity, and you can also specify additional instructions such as a carrier packet or other information or requirements that your team has. Looking left, we can enter our bond insurance information. This field asks for the company name, the agent name, phone number, and the expiration date. Beneath that, we, can, we have the option to set an order ID. This box is completely optional and dependent on your internal processes, but allows for you to set an order ID that will increment automatically with each new order you create. You can also enter this manually when creating orders so it's up to you whether or not you want to set this. In this case, I have my orders starting with SD and an initial number order of 205. From there, you also have the option to add references. These are companies and contacts you have worked with before that carriers could call to get some information or hear about the experience they had working with you. I already have this filled out, 
And the reference I have here is my boss, Brittany, and that is our phone number. So if you have good things to say about this webinar, feel free to give her a call. We also have a field for terms and conditions. I'm not a lawyer and I don't play one on TV, so don't copy my notes here. Instead, reach out to your legal team for the copy for this field. These are the terms and conditions that are legally binding that will be displayed to carriers when you send a direct offer or post to the Superload Board. Finally, if you have Central Dispatch, you can connect your account and post loads to both our Superload Board and Central Dispatch in one click. Clicking back into our menu here, we'll jump down into the General tab. On this tab, you can find settings for the BOL template, inspection type, and time zone. I'm not gonna get too in depth on this because this is usually set up by our team when we create your account, but I wanted to note it just in case you need to make adjustments down the road. If you have questions, our support team is an excellent resource for help on this. The next option on our menu is SuperPay. This is a streamlined way to pay carriers automatically. This is truly a great way to pay your carriers quickly while also having all the information you need to stay organized in one place. Since this deals with banking information, we won't get into setting this up today, but you can reach out to a SOL or a support team at any time to help them to help get that set up. And don't forget to check out our Help Center as well. We have some excellent articles about using SuperPay. Moving on to our next option, that's the Super Load Board. This page allows for toggling load board settings, such as allowing Super Dispatch verified carriers who meet your insurance criteria to instantly book loads, as long as they agree to the price, dates, and locations of your load as posted, they can instantly book the load without having to send you a request for it. This helps you move cars fast without having, having to respond to load requests. Super Dispatch takes double brokering seriously. You can prevent un unverified carriers from booking your loads by hiding them from any carriers who are not verified. This helps reduce potential exposure to double brokering on our Super Load Board. Dropping down into our Manage User section, each user should have their own login credentials, as we will soon be adding two-factor authentication to our Shipper TMS product. This helps keep your data secure by reducing password sharing. Here on this tab, you can track and create accounts for your team. Creating user accounts will also help you stay organized because the activity logs on each order will show which users completed certain actions, including editing the orders. To add a user, simply click on the blue Add User button in the upper right-hand corner. This box will open for the required fields for you to fill out for your team. On the Notifications tab, you can customize what information you'd like to receive for things like load offers, pickup and delivery notifications, and carrier requests. You can also set notifications for specific team members to receive those via email as well. Just click Add Recipient, enter their email, and select the type of notifications they should receive. That completes the setup of your account in terms of all the different settings that you'll want to take a look at and make sure you have set to your preferences. So let's go ahead and take a look at creating an order. We're gonna go back into this All tab. From here, since this is a brand new account, I can click Create Order here in the center of the screen, or I can click the Create Order button here in the upper right-hand corner. Inside this order creation screen, we can see all the fields that we can fill out with the order information. There are a few required fields to send an offer or post to the Super Load Board. Those are the order ID, a make and a model for a vehicle, the pickup and delivery addresses, the pickup and delivery dates, and pricing. 
The cool thing about Super Dispatch is that I can enter all that information here on the screen manually, or I can also upload orders from a spreadsheet. Since watching me manually enter data and probably make a bunch of typos is not going to be super interesting, let's take a look at how to upload an order. To import an order, click Import Orders button in the upper right-hand corner. There are some requirements for how a spreadsheet needs to be formatted for the system to accept it, but we made it super easy for you by providing a sample file that you can use as a template. You can click on this and that sample file will download. Then I can import a file to the system with some sample orders. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this folder or this file here into the import box. And now I can see that I've created three different orders. I'll go ahead and open test order one. Even though I created this order via um, an order, uh, the upload template, I can still go ahead and upload or edit this order if I need to make changes. So we'll go ahead and click this pencil. And it takes me back to this. Uh, it's similar to the screen when we were manually creating an order. And I can see all the order details. I'm going to go ahead and since we've had some changes, I'll go ahead and update the carrier delivery date. And I'm also going to set a payment method of check. Now this order is ready to go. So I can go ahead and I can click Save and Send Offer. Now we can see that this box pops up, allowing me to send an offer. Since I already have a carrier in mind for this, I'm going to go ahead and send it to my test carrier account. I can do this by searching the name or by entering a USDOT. I'll go ahead and enter my USDOT number. And we can see that Jessica K. Trucking has popped up. I'll go ahead and select this. And then I can go ahead and click Send Offer. I can see that the status of this order has now gone from new to pending since it's waiting for the carrier to either accept or decline it. Once an order is accepted, it'll move through the order lifecycle here on the left-hand panel. It'll move from accepted to picked up where it'll eventually live in delivered until Someone from your team either leaves it in delivered or marks it invoices, paid, or archives the order. And this has been an overview of setting up your Shipper TMS account, as well as creating orders. We have some time to answer any questions you might have. So if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in chat here and we'll go ahead and get those answers for you. All right, it looks like uh, Javier asks, you mentioned verified carriers, what is that? Verified carriers is a set of compliance documentation that carriers submit to our compliance team and our team verifies that all of their paperwork is in correct order. When they meet that criteria, they'll get the little verified carriers uh, badge on their account. And that way, you know that you're working with carriers that have good insurance, that have all of the, um, you know, their W-9, all of the paperwork to run their business in place. And what we have found is that by Having this verified carriers, we're increasing the reliability of quality loads getting moved on our shipper on our super load board. All right. Alex asks, I'm getting some some requests on loads that don't de don't meet my requirements. What am I doing wrong? This is one of those fields. I'm going to jump back over here to our uh, shipper TMS. And let's take a look back at the profile. If you're getting loads that aren't meeting your requirements or requests from carriers that aren't meeting these requirements, 
it may be that you're missing something in this field here of those carrier requirements. It's possible that you type out an insurance minimum requirement or something like that. So I'd encourage you to go back and double check these requirements and double check the additional instructions in case you have anything extra. And Deanna asks, what is SuperPay and is it included in my account? I'll go back over to SuperPay here. SuperPay, uh, you can click set up SuperPay here to follow the prompts and it'll walk you through it. You can also reach out to a Sol or our support team and they can help get SuperPay added to your account. All right, and it looks like that is all the questions we've had. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let's talk about how you can stay in touch with us. Super Dispatch is active on social media, so feel free to reach out to us on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter slash X. We're very active on our Super Dispatch blog, and we also have tons of resources in our Help Center, both of which can be found on our website. And you can always chat with our support team at superdispatch.com by clicking on this chat um, logo in any right-hand corner of our website. Thanks so much for attending the Super Dispatch Express TMS onboarding webinar. If you have additional questions, you can reach out to our support team on our website, superdispatch.com. We'll send you a copy of this webinar so that you can refer back to it at